buy or sell. This is buy or sell. Our top VCs will choose if they like it and buy it or hate it and sell it. Let's go. PitchBook just released their 2020 rankings for the university programs that produce the most entrepreneurs that go on to obtain venture funding. Buy or sell the value of attending a certain college for future capital raising efforts. Jenny. All right, as a fund whose thesis is literally based on the power of community and leveraging the strength of your network, I'm gonna have to go buy, especially the pre-seed. When some of our investments are in companies that are pre-product and pre-revenue, we look to invest in people and people's ability to execute. A lot of founders who are referred to us are people that are peripherally in our networks and we're more likely to, more likely to trust and it's all network effects from there. So in the short term, as remote learning becomes more mainstream, there'll be less emphasis on physical location, but connections facilitated by these institutions, access to other successful founders, tech professionals, VC funding, should be a main driver in an applicant's decision to apply to one school or another. And shout out to Penn for being five on this pitch book list, my alma mater. <laughs> Big shout out. AJ, you agreeing with uh, Jenny here? Yeah, I buy it purely from what she just highlighted. Um, you know, for me, I personally did not get a lot from my actual education inside the classroom, and that's not a knock. I went to Boston University, I'll say it proudly, it's not a knock, they did nothing wrong. I went in with the mindset that I didn't feel I was gonna get anything out of it, and I was really just waiting to get to entrepreneurship. But the experience I got, you know, living independently and the people that I met, that's the key. So I think going to college is definitely a great aspect, just in terms of the network being built, um, the maturation that you can go through while going through that experience. I do think some of that's lost from the virtual aspect. You know, yes, the networking can still happen, but I do think it's tough to replace that peer-to-peer, in-person community development that happens on a college campus. Peter, are you buying as well? Sell. I think it's. I think that's bullshit. I think that I've. And so we've been doing this for nine years. We've never. I've never asked the question, "Where did you go to school?" I've never looked at the resume. I don't care. And I think also that it impacts diversity and why venture in general is like a very select, no offense, pan, but like Harvard, Stanford. Look, 68, so we have a $75 million fund that we've almost all deployed. 68% of that went to minority founders. Almost half that to black founders. I don't know where they went to school. Delane Parnell, he's raised $100 million for play, play versus. Grew up in the projects of Detroit. Like, I think he did a semester at Michigan. I believe so, but I've never checked. My point is like, I think you gotta spend time with the founders and look for the hustle. Yes, college shows that I think back in the days that you had an effort and that you can be studious and you had a target and maybe you get straight A's, but book smart, street smart, and people smart not necessarily translate to like the degree that you went to. And I think- yep. I'm, I'm moving on. Is, I'm moving on from the Peter. Doing? Moving on from you, Peter. Cutting you off, Peter. Cutting you off. Nahal, what are you thinking here? Listen, I, I agree to sell as well, uh, but for a different reason. I mean, DNI and i is a, is, is a very good reason. In addition to that, um, pre-COVID, post-COVID world, colleges are becoming more and more of a commodity. 40% yeah. of Harvard's class deferred this year at Harvard, okay? So these brands are now nowhere near as strong as they used to be in a post-COVID world. That's why I'm selling. Talent is gonna be flattened and taken out of these very specific networks. And I agree with Peter, you're gonna find incredible founders um, everywhere and anywhere. So I'm gonna jump in. Peter, the point you made about the resume, I haven't looked once either, could care less. I agree with you on that front. But what I'm talking about is, you know, from my own personal experience, I'll look at myself, my experience, the school I went to, my brother's experience, my brother went to a school called Mount Ida, does not exist anymore. And to your point, he's super successful, right? CEO of a nine figure company, multiple eight figure exits himself, awesome. His biggest regret and where I was able to bring value in starting VaynerMedia was the network I built at BU and the network he did not build at Mount Ida. Not one person my brother went to college with, he had that went with him for the ride, right? Whereas VaynerMedia, early employees of ours, we had a lot of BU grads that I knew and trusted. And I think that's important in the early stages. So I agree, when picking an entrepreneur, I'm not worried about where you went, but I think the success of an entrepreneur, college or college-like atmospheres that can successfully build networks are important. Yeah, ne a net or networking, they could have been an intern at a company, they could have had their first, the last job, I totally agree. I went to UC Irvine, not one person. 
I remember from college. So yes, the, the person and can they build a network from where they went and ultimately they have to be as a great founder and CEO, they have to be able to recruit, right? Like that is your job. The, the concept of networks has changed also from the physical to the virtual world, right? So like pre-pandemic, the concept of that network was very physical. And now it's very, now it's very different. It's very different. It's on, it's on Twitter, right? Um, so. But if so, you guys get, if you guys get an Twitter. email from a, who, wherever you got, BU founder, and they, they email you and they're like, sup AJ, I, I went to be, you, I like, I feel a responsibility to respond. I don't, I don't. If I'm being honest, I'll respond that's for anybody fault. from Irvine. <laughs> I, I, I personally am at fault for not having any emotion attachment to my university. That's on me, not them. But I, yeah, I, I have no, I, BU alum emails me doesn't pull a single heartstring, if I'm being honest. Primetime VC is supported by First Republic Bank, banking built for innovators. Trinet, expertly human HR solutions. Brex, scale your business faster with Brex. Cash management and corporate cards for your team in 10 minutes or less. Use our link in the show description to sign up today. E2 Generations, we solve problems that live on Excel.